I just felt liquid running down my leg and that's usually not a sensation I go for. Welcome back to We in France. Happy New Year. This is the channel where we talk about everyday French life and beyond. And I'm Diane, the American woman behind the channel who's lived in France since 2012. So first, so happy you're here. Welcome to all my new subscribers who have found me via my most recent grocery store content. Thank you. And there's more of that to come, but today we're gonna get into chocolate. French chocolate, a little German chocolate. This video is all about candy, so let's get into it. Okay, so to start, I picked up a selection of French grocery store chocolate, or rather I should say chocolate from the French grocery store, because as you'll discover, a lot of the brands actually aren't French. But these are all mainstream, easy to find things, uh, especially around the holiday season. And after I show you the French stuff, we're gonna get into the German candy because I have an amazing friend in Germany, an American named Aspen. You can find her channel, Aspen Abroad. And I sent her a big box of chocolate and she sent me one too. Very similar to this. This is all German chocolate. I sent her a box just like this of French chocolate and she reviews it and taste tests it uh, on her channel. So I'll link that video down below. Please check her out and have a look at what I sent her from uh, the French grocery store. But before we get into the box of German goodies, let me just show you um, a small handful of what you might find uh, at the French grocery store. So one brand you might be familiar with is Nestle. And contrary to popular belief, Nestle is not a French brand, but yeah, Nestle is a Swiss brand and uh, they make chocolate for a lot of the European market and other countries around the world. And this is something that you'll find uh, at Christmas time around the holidays, these special, special editions. This one happens to be little caramel chocolates that come in a nice pack like this and I'll open one up for you. And these are called uh, Les Recettes de l'Atelier. So it's the recipes, the workshop recipes. Um, and they actually look really high end. It doesn't say Nestle on the little packages here. So they're surprisingly very good for mainstream chocolate, but you just, oh Jesus. Uh, you just get a look. There's a bunch of little candies in there. I'll just show you what these guys look like. Just like this. And they're really good for grocery store chocolate. Let me tell you. Mm. You can really taste the caramel. It doesn't stick to your teeth too much. It does stick to your lip gloss though. I don't care. Um, smells excellent. I have to say for grocery store chocolate, these aren't too sweet. They don't taste too artificial. So if you find yourself in France around the holidays, get yourself a box of these. And as always, nothing um, in this video is sponsored unless I say it is. This is just stuff that I love. So we're gonna put that aside so I don't eat the whole thing. And we're gonna get on to my little winter snowman package here. Um, a lot of the chocolate you'll see in the French grocery store at the holiday time, it's kind of winter themed, not necessarily Christmas or Hanukkah themed like you'd see, you know, Skittles or Reese's in the US. And also, while these candies are quite common in France, what's not common would be what I just said. So Reese's, you won't see that here. I don't think I've seen Milky Way, Three Musketeers. Uh, there are candies that definitely are more suited for the North American market that you really won't find in mainstream France. Exceptions would be Snickers. You find Snickers here, you find Kit Kat, but the brands I'm showing you here, the Lindt, Nestle, um, Milka, they're really common in France. I'm just gonna remove some of that caramel from my lip gloss. Hey, no, no, I'm not, I'm gonna leave it. Um, so anyway, we have these little, it says bonbon confetti, so confetti candy, like this. They're chocolate based, again, lots of the candy you find here in France at the grocery store around this time, they are chocolate based. So great for, for chocolate lovers. You know, so I'll just show you real quick what this bad boy looks like. Open up the Milka. We have a little egg, little egg, let's see. Mm. And the inside of the egg, I'll get a close up for you, has like a white chocolate with little pieces of confetti, so it looks like a rainbow. And again, really good, not too sweet, nice taste of milk chocolate, and smells really good. These are, these are like an eight, nine out of 10, really, really good. I have to say, you can't go wrong from just spending five, 10 euros in a French grocery store on the chocolate. Go for it. Next is, 
mon chéri, mon chéri. These are really popular, again, not French, although the name is French, which means my dear, my darling, mon chéri. And if you're a woman, uh, if the chéri is a woman, you need to add an E on the end. So this is mon chéri, the man. Um, it's made by Ferrero, and uh, Ferrero is an Italian company. So inside we have a nice selection of two rows here of these little cherry things. I think they have liquor in them. I'm 99% sure on that. Uh, for the French market, they do have a really strong liquor. I believe in the U.S. market, they're formulated differently. I've never tasted one, but I know from Aspen's video um, and my husband telling me, oh man, you could get bombed on these things if you eat the whole box. So there's no cherry or anything lovey-dovey on the inside, although the packaging's red on the actual candy, I mean, just some lines. But I'm going to bite very gingerly into this one because I don't think I'm going to like it. Oh, no, no, no. Mm. No, that's not not my style chocolate at all. Oh gosh. And they, oh man. Oh gosh. It's dripping. Can you see that dripping? Oh, I just got it all over my pants. I didn't realize it was actually liquid, liquid, like the consistency of water. I just felt liquid running down my leg and that's usually not a sensation I go for. Um, yeah, this would be running down my face if I had eaten it. Okay. If you eat a mon chéri, do not eat it gingerly like me because you're going to make a hot mess of your pants. And yourself. Okay. Um, it, it tastes like straight up liquor. So I'm going to just put this one to the side and uh, clean up my pants later. Oh man, there's chocolate all over my wooden floor and pants. Good thing the camera does not show that because, whoo. Okay. We're going to put our good friend Mon Chéri down here. Gonna just move on real quick. Let me show you the next two before we get into our German chocolate. Um, and if you're big into chocolate, also while you're on my channel, check out an older video. I'll link it here. I did a whole behind the scenes at a French chocolate shop and they make amazing things. I did little interviews with some of the chocolate makers. So if you're into chocolate and you wanna see actual French chocolate behind the scenes, click that. But again, we have little, a little winter penguin here on the Kinder chocolate. So in French, <laughs> the brand Kinder is pronounced Kinder. Kinder, again, is that Ferrero company from Italy. So this isn't German, it's not Swiss, definitely not French. And um, they do a whole different line of, of candy throughout the year. Kinder surprise egg with a little toy inside, Kinder chocolate bars. And I think this is just, this is just a regular milk chocolate egg. So I'll show it to you real quick and we'll move on to my big sampler in front of me in a second. Okay, the foil is a little tricky to get off, but yeah, it's just another egg, kind of like the Milka one that we just had. So I'm going to put that over here for safekeeping. All right, next, my favorite, saved it for last in terms of my French chocolate selection here. Let me get the reflection off it. So as you can see, this gift box is really nice. This retails for about 12 euros. Sometimes they're on promo, but this is a nice, a nice gift. If you go to a party or something, uh, you could just bring this in addition to whatever else you bring. Just everyone loves a nice sampler. And um, everything is on the back, displayed what's inside, so you know what you're getting. And these come in different editions. There's a blue box, a red box, but I just took a mix that has the milk, the dark, and the white chocolate. And um, yeah, I love the front. So this word, well, first, let me start with the brand. Lint, again, that is a Swiss company. I think it's Lintensprungli or something like that, the full name, just known as Lint. And um, that is a, a Swiss company. So again, not French. And uh, I know you can get it in the U.S. and around the world, but I don't know if you can get this sampler. So you'll have to let me know down below if you can get these samplers in your home country. Um, I think they're worth it. They're worth the 12 euros. The box is pretty. It looks nice with ribbon. And of course, what's inside is really nice. Um, one thing I'll point out real quickly, just trying to pack this with as much info for you as I can. The picture itself, this is a huge Paris icon, right? Um, we have in French, this is pronounced the Champs. Élysée, and you have a liaison between the S and the E, so it's Champs Élysées, Champs Élysées. So you don't say the P, it's not Champs Élysées or anything like that. Again, it's the Champs Élysées, and that is what we have here that main drag that feeds up to the Arc de Triomphe. Okay, so inside, this is the best part. We have a lovely selection of chocolate that I'm going to tilt without knocking it over. And you'll see there's different caramels, pralines. Um, there's a few hearts with foil and I'll just get a close up for you on that. But yeah, it's, it's 
presented pretty well, I have to say, for a 12 euro thing from the grocery store. So get one for yourself and uh, you won't be sorry on that. All right, let's put this bad boy away. Boom. Okay, next up, my box again from my friend in Germany, Aspen of Aspen Abroad. Thank you, Aspen. And be sure again to go check out the video on her channel that I've linked below. Okay, so she has jam packed this box full of goodies and we're gonna get right into it. So let me just pull it a little closer to me. First things first, I'm gonna just show you what's in here. So this, just so we're clear, I've been to Germany once, just right over the French border and I did not go to any grocery stores or look at chocolate. So this is all new to me. I don't speak a word of German. So apologies for any butchering I do. Um, so Kinder Bueno, you can get these in France. So these are excellent with like a milky kind of nutty center. Let's see. Okay, so this is the DM Bio. Um, in French, Bio means organic. So maybe that's what we have here. Oh, and my dog has come in to lick what has dripped onto my pants. That's always fun. Um, and these are marzipan, little reindeer. These are gonna be good. I love almond paste, so we'll open these in a second. Yeah, smells good in here, huh, Daddy? Mm. Okay. The All right, next up we have the, Mo the Mozart Kugel, oh no, Kugel, Kugel something or other. And we have Mozart, you know, the composer Mozart little balls. You know what? As I'm going through this, she puts so much amazing stuff in here. What I want to do is make a part two of me going through the German box in more depth. I'm just giving you, no, don't eat that. My dog. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. As we know, chocolate is super dangerous for dogs. And my dog just got into the kinder. didn't eat it. I snatched her away. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video here and invite you back for part two, um, invite you back for part two soon of me going through the German box. So I hope I've given you a good intro, a good little promo into it. Yeah, you want your chocolate. You know, you're not gonna eat that, it kills dogs, sorry. So let's say goodbye to everyone and we're gonna come back with a part two really soon, right? Yeah, you're gonna yawn for everyone, that's good. All right, thank you so much for watching everyone. I'm cutting this short here and uh, we're gonna get into the German chocolate in my next video. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, again, happy new year, bonne année and salut. Wave goodbye. <laughs>